welcome back to Fusion 360 and uh, some lessons. So, I'm going to best that I can describe what the axes or axes or whatever you want to call it, how they work in things such as uh, computer aided drafting or other things. This applies to things like uh, Photoshop or Illustrator or any kind of video editing or anything X, Y, and Z axes axes are used in many places. So I'll give you a kind of a brief explanation of what they are. So if you are, let's say you take a piece of paper, lay it down flat on a, on a table, and you take your head and you pivot it 90 degrees down from looking straight away. You look at that paper, this is going to represent the top view. So you're looking down, so basically what this camera angle is looking at right now is down flat on a piece of paper, on a, on a table, let's just say. These are your axis, or your planes. So what we have here is a center point of where everything goes out. If you go this way, this is known as the positive X. If you go to the left of the origin spot, that is anything over here this way is a negative X. So it is represented by a negative number. So if we were to count these little hash marks, it would represent one, two, three, four. It would be a negative four on the X axis. So anything up above or below is considered a y-axis. Anything above the center point is positive y. Anything below this is negative y. So once again, you can go negative one, two, three, four. So be negative in the y-axis. Now, when you look at this, this is basically what's known as 2D drawing or two dimension drawing. So it's flat. There's no edges that's 3D like. It only becomes 3D when you move your head. Let's say move your head. So instead of this top view here, we are going to rotate. Now, let's say you move your head parallel to that piece of paper that is laying on the table, and we go to our front view. Now you are looking straight at that piece of paper. So let's say our, ta our table is this line that runs through here and this is our piece of paper that's sitting on top of our table. Now this is where your Z axis comes into play. So anything up from the center point off of the paper is a Z axis. Anything below it or going underneath the table or through the table is known as a negative Z axis. Now it becomes three dimensional because you have an X, Y, and Z axis or plane. So if you're just looking at it from the top, it's just a piece of paper, it's two dimensional, it can't come off the paper until another axis is thrown in there, which then becomes 3D, three dimensional. Hopefully this is a comprehensive explanation that's a little tricky to explain, but I tried uh, my best. Hopefully uh, somebody has some takeaways to this. So uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and proceed to our next lesson. And um, yeah, I'll see you there.